Welcome back, history enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of the Iron Age. In this exciting episode, we'll uncover five extraordinary tools and innovations that define this pivotal era. Join us on this captivating journey through time as we unravel the stories behind these remarkable Iron Age tools and innovations. So, grab your virtual archaeologist's hat, hit that subscribe button, and let's embark on an adventure through the intriguing world of the Iron Age. The Iron Age was the period in which the use of iron became widespread in Europe, Asia, and parts of Africa. Because the adoption of iron didn't happen at the same time in every part of the world, there isn't really one Iron Age, but rather multiple ones across different regions. The earliest iron objects in the world start showing up around 300 BC, says Nathaniel Absatulo, a lecturer in archaeological science at the Cranfield Forensic Institute in the United Kingdom. But that's way before what anybody would call the, the Iron Age. European scholars started using the categories of Stone Age, Bronze Age, and Iron Age in the 19th century, AD, to try to create a chronology of European artifacts based on their composition. In Europe and Asia, these Iron Ages began around the 2nd and 1st millennium BC. Here are some of the inventions and innovations that came out of them. 1. Cast Iron The earliest known cast iron dates to China in the 8th century BC, according to research published in Advances in Archaeomaterials in May 2021. The process of casting iron involves mixing iron with carbon and other alloys, creating an iron alloy that is more brittle, but also harder. Cast iron played a large role in Iron Age China's agricultural development. The moldboard plough that emerged in Iron Age China around the 3rd century BC used a cast iron point to push soil away, allowing for the development of contour ploughing, which reduced soil erosion. 2. Quenching Quenching is another process of making iron harder and more brittle that became important during the Iron Ages in Europe and Asia. Iron itself isn't necessarily harder than bronze, but once transformed into steel, which is harder than bronze, quenching can make steel stronger. It's very difficult to tell when quenching began, says Absatulo. He points out that the Odyssey, which the Greek poet Homer composed around the 8th or 7th century BC, contains a reference to quenching. This comes during the scene in which Odysseus throws a sharpened and heated piece of wood into the cyclops' eye, as when a man who works as a blacksmith plunges a screaming great axe blade or plane into cold water, treating it for temper, since this is the way steel is made strong, even so cyclops' eye sizzled about the beam of the olive. 3. Steel Weapons Iron swords and daggers didn't start with the Iron Age. King Tutankhamun was buried with an iron dagger likely made from a meteorite in the 14th century BC, which is way before scholars would place the beginning of the Iron Age. The key innovation of Iron Age weapons was not that they used iron, but that they eventually used steel produced from new metallurgy techniques. Early iron swords were not necessarily better or harder than bronze ones, but innovations like quenching helped make strong, steel swords that became more common over time. One of the most famous surviving Iron Age steel swords is the Ved Jericho, which dates to the 7th century BC in ancient Israel. Even as iron and steel became more widespread, Iron Age people continued to make bronze weapons and tools, too. In addition, there were new technological developments that used older materials like gold, silver, and even stone. 4. Coins Gold and silver weights existed during the Bronze Age, but the first coins, i.e., imprinted metal pieces for exchange, seem to have emerged in Iron Age Anatolia, Absatulo says. The first coins appeared around 600 BC in Lydia, a kingdom on the Anatolia Peninsula, modern-day Turkey. These coins, imprinted with images like lions, had similar weight and purity, and so may have been used as a form of currency. The Roman Empire began to produce coins in the late 4th century BC, starting with bronze and later shifting to silver and gold. Coins unearthed in London dating to the 1st century BC, around the time the Roman Empire invaded the region, 
show the god Apollo on one side and a charging bull on the other. 5. Rotary Quernstone Another Iron Age invention that doesn't directly involve iron is the rotary quernstone. This was a new type of quern, a tool used for grinding grain by hand that has existed for thousands of years, since before 5600 BC. The rotary quernstone that emerged in Iron Age Britain around 400 BC consisted of two stones on top of each other. The top stone had a hole in it in which a person would pour grain. The user would then rotate the top stone to grind the grain between the stones, and the ground grain would spill out over the sides. The rotary quernstone took more time to make than other querns, but was able to produce grain much faster. Thank you for joining us on this exciting exploration of five Iron Age tools and innovations. From the revolutionary iron plow to the ingenious iron-tipped spear, the Iron Age brought about a wave of advancements that transformed human civilization. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.